Hello and welcome to How to Be Orange, the audiobook. How to Be Orange, Chapter 7. It's the little differences. The quote? It's the little differences. I mean, they got the same shit over there that we got over here, but there, it's just a little different. Quentin Tarantino via John Travolta. Yes, there are little differences, but the differences are a little different since I got here. I first came to the Netherlands in 1994. When the World Cup went to America, I came to Europe. It was the year Nelson Mandela became president, Vim Koch became prime minister, and Quentin Tarantino released Pulp Fiction. According to most Americans, everything I needed to know about Amsterdam, I learned in Pulp Fiction. Hash bars, a glass of beer in the movie theater, and frites with mayonnaise. But it's interesting when you go back and look at the dialogue from 20 years ago, how much of it has changed. From the movie, Samuel L. Jackson starts out saying, so tell me again about the hash bars in Amsterdam. Stop right there. Hash bars? Amsterdam has never had hash bars. There are coffee shops, a term which is so misleading that Tarantino had to change it for the American market. Ah, those little differences. Americans also have their fair share of idiosyncratic euphemisms, such as drugstore, where you go to get medicine. So it's always funny to me when I hear U.S. tourists asking Dutch people for the drugstore, and they're directed to the coffee shop. See also Brits asking for the boots and being directed to the shoe stores on the Leitze Straat. Travolta. Okay, what you want to know? Jackson. Hash is legal there, right? Travolta. Well, yeah, it's legal, but it ain't 100% legal. Stop right there. Hash is legal? Uh, no. In fact, hash is 100% illegal. The Dutch just choose not to enforce it. In 1994, they also chose not to enforce soft drug rules. And for a while, there were smart shops selling actual dried mushrooms. Until a French girl jumped off a building. Now, dried mushrooms are unheard of. Unless you ask for truffles. Those are totally different. In 1994, the only things that were illegal and enforced were ecstasy and cocaine. Now, you can't bring a pack of gum into a dance event without a lecture and a pat-down by the special frisking police. Travolta. You just can't go into a restaurant and start puffing away. I mean, they want you to smoke it in your home or certain designated places. And those are the hash bars. Stop. Puffing away? Yes, those are the hash bars, as long as, since 2007, the hash bar has a specially constructed smoking section. Why do we need a smoking section? To protect all the people who don't smoke. What are you doing in a hash bar if you don't smoke? No one knows. Travolta. Like when you go to see a movie in Amsterdam, you can take a beer into the movie theater. And I ain't talking about no plastic cup, neither. I mean a glass of beer. Stop. Glass of beer? Nowadays, it's rarely a glass of beer, but long necks are plentiful. I find this an improvement, actually. But did I mention that it's hard to find beer in the coffee shop? Travolta. It breaks down like this. It's legal to buy it. It's legal to own it. Stop. It's legal? You can still buy weed at a coffee shop, but you can't get beer. You can still get mushrooms at the smart shop, but you can't get dried mushrooms. Unless you dry them yourself, which apparently no one has thought of. You can get beer at a brown cafe, but you might want to get a cafe cafe. And there the coffee's not great. So if you want a good coffee, don't go to the coffee shop. Go to the coffee company, which is now owned by the Sara Lee company. So you might as well go to Starbucks. Travolta. And if you're the proprietor of a hash bar, it's legal to sell it. Stop. Legal to sell it? It's only legal if your coffee shop is not within 500 meters of a school and if your coffee shop is not too close to the border with Belgium and if you check the passports of your clientele to make sure there are no tourists because surely the innovative Dutch won't figure out that they can make a killing by buying the weed themselves and reselling it on the street to students and tourists on the black market. 
Travolta. But that don't matter, because get a load of this. If the cops stop you in Amsterdam, it's illegal for them to search you. I mean, that's a right the cops in Amsterdam actually don't have. Stop. Illegal for them to search you? No. Now they can search you whenever they want. And if they search you, you would better have valid ID. Otherwise, you can and will be arrested. These are the little differences from 20 years ago. And if you want to sit on a terrace to have a glass of beer, you can't do it while standing. You have to sit inside the terrace-approved area, because if you're outside the terrace-approved area, then the proprietor might get a fine. And if you want to just get out of town, you better have a light on your bike, otherwise you might get a fine. And you can't take a taxi without the taxi driver trying to beat you to death, but he won't get a fine. And wherever you go, you have to have valid ID. An ID with your photo on it, and your papers must be correct, and they must be carried on you at all times. So yeah, the little differences are a little different.